Who would you like to work with if you could work with anybody? Um, I would like to work with Kevin Durant <laughs> and LeBron James and CP3, Stephen Curry. Those things are all, all in process, so I don't know if it's... I would like to. I would like to, but it's about to happen. Kind so, of. so you and LeBron are talking? No, me and Stephen, okay. you know, LeBron. Once I get my hands on Bron, this is going to be a whole different level because he needs help with ball handling. He's a great player. He's a champion. He's an all-star, but I think I can help him a lot. I think what I can bring to the table for him will help him change his game. Who do you think needs the most help in ball handling in the league? When you watch him, it's like, man, <laughs> <laughs> this dude here needs, needs some assistance right here. <laughs> oh man! I think everybody needs help, to be honest, because <laughs> everybody can't do what I do with this basketball. Right. So that's why I get reached out to a lot. They all need help. Until I can find somebody in the league that can do exactly what I can do with with this ball, then then I'll be like, nobody yeah. needs somebody needs help. Uh, how did you get so good at handling? I woke up six o'clock in the morning every day when I was like twelve. I went to the basketball court and just worked on my handles. That's the only way I was going to go to college. Is that if I earned a scholarship, I knew I was going to be a point guard. So I made sure that my ball handling skills was up to par and up to date. Worked on it. Then I worked on the basics. The basics is very important. Worked on the basic ball handling, it's fundamental drills like just pounding the ball right here or just crossing over and right hand pounds and all that stuff. Mastered that stuff. When I mastered that stuff, then I started being creative and added my own, added my own creative creativity to it. Then I called it handle life. 